uh, you've probably seen the news that uh, Starship, Starship is SpaceX's, um, uh, you know, basically uh, rocket. Uh, this this massive, uh, this massive, unbelievable rocket uh, that is supposed to ultimately be able to carry cargo and people beyond Earth uh, to, to, to potentially uh, colonies in, in, uh, in the moon. NASA is kind of counting on Starship to, to uh, return, to help return uh, us to the moon, uh, not us, but them. Uh, it's also, I think, uh, uh, SpaceX's long-term plan is to use Starship as the rocket that will ultimately, that will ultimately help us get to Mars. Well, I mean, Starship today um, had its first ever launch. And in spite of the fact that it blew up uh, after launch, it was a huge success. And I, I think this is a really, really important point to dwell on. Because this is what makes the difference between, this is what makes the difference between great entrepreneurs, I mean, really worth changing entrepreneurs, and to some extent, the rest of us. Um, entrepreneurs realize that the only way to change the world is to try, fail, learn, try, fail, learn constantly. The failure is the way in which you progress, that there is no real alternative, that there's no way to uh, design Starship so it never fails and it will never fail. The only way to design Starship is to design it to the best of one's ability and then test it, put it out there. Too many variables, too much data, too much unknown technology. Failure is part of the process. Failure is part of the, uh, the, the innovative process. It's part of uh, building, creating, making. It's part of the wealth creation process. And Elon Musk has been very explicit uh, about this. In, in, in they've talked about it at uh, SpaceX. They've talked about fail to learn. That is, you fail in order to learn. And you design experiments that you know you're going to fail, but that in the process you will learn so that ultimately you will be successful. And these launches, they were described well in advance as they expected the rocket to explode at some point. They expected failure. The fact that it got off the ground was success. Everything else is a bonus. They will learn from this. There's another launch in a few months. And in that launch, they will hopefully be successful or that'll be the, uh, the, the, in a sense, the um, testing ground for the third or fourth, the fifth, the hundredth launch until they get it right. And this is uh, super exciting. I mean, if you, if you, you know, this is, but this, this whole methodology is a methodology you see in Amazon uh, with Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos was very, very good at um, trying things, letting them fail, uh, canceling them, learning from them, doing it differently. And, and constantly, constantly, uh, uh, you know, shifting and changing and, and being, to, being willing to make quick decisions and being willing to fail, constantly willing to fail. Do you remember the Amazon phone? Well, probably most of you don't because it failed. And they cut it loose very quickly once they failed. But you got, this is how you learn, what you're good at, what, you, what, what works, what makes money, what's profitable, where you can progress. Um, and, um, uh, you know, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, uh, Steve Jobs, uh, these were all some of the great failures in history, right? Uh, people who knew how to use failure to, to move forward, how to use failure to, to advance their projects, to, to help pursue their ultimate values. So uh, um, huge kudos to uh, SpaceX and Elon Musk, uh, who I think in, in the current times exemplify this kind of attitude, uh, particularly at SpaceX, more than anybody else, um, it's very explicit at SpaceX, and it's how, and it's how, um, it's how they will conquer this challenge, and how ultimately they will use Starship to conquer the Moon and ultimately conquer Mars. So, uh, congratulations to Elon Musk for a successful launch, in spite of the fact that it failed. Um,
Yeah, I mean, I wish in many respects, I wish Musk would stick to stick to rockets uh, rather than Twitter. But but hopefully, he's being that same attitude to Twitter, where there'll be a lot of experimentation, there'll be a lot of trials, there'll be a lot of failures, and there'll be uh, there'll be significant progress to make uh, Twitter a better a platform uh, over time. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.